I am Lucas Clawson, historian at Hagley Museum and Library, and this is Hagley from Home. There have been a lot of elections in American history that have been quite contentious from the very beginning all the way until now. Perhaps some of the most contentious were the elections around the American Civil War beginning in 1860, the midterm elections in 1862, and then elections again in 1864. In 1860, that was part of what led to us getting into the American Civil War. The election of Abraham Lincoln was quite a contentious thing that the Democratic Party, the then Democratic Party, had split into two factions. And then there was the Republican Party, there was at least four other different smaller political parties. And this divided people throughout Delaware. That ended up becoming a tremendous contentious election throughout the United States. But Delaware was a microcosm of the rest of what was going on in the nation because of how people were split within the state. So in 1862, this was already after a year of war, and there was a lot of fear in Delaware that the elections wouldn't go as people had hoped. So the, the then Democratic Party controlled the Delaware General Assembly. They controlled most of the state. So people who weren't Democrats in the state were afraid that that party was gonna to try to manipulate the elections. People like Henry DuPont, who ran the DuPont Powder Yards, and other people throughout Delaware who, who were not members of the Democratic Party reached out to the federal government and asked that they would supervise elections. So in 1862, you had United States soldiers at most polling places within the state of Delaware to try to make sure that there was nothing crazy happening, no chicanery, as they put it, of, around elections in the state. So the General Assembly did not like that at all. They thought that was terrible. They thought it was the Republican Party trying to manipulate the election to their advantage to make things come out in a different way. So much so that this book is actually a study put together by the Delaware General Assembly to look into perhaps voter fraud and everything that happened during that election. So this is over 200 pages of testimony that the Delaware General Assembly took from people within the state people at polling places, people all around. And it ended up turning out to the Democratic Party's favor that most of them won their elections. And they even turned over the U.S. representative uh, in the 1862 election. There was still so much fear in 1864 that the federal government supervised those elections too. So there were U.S. soldiers that came into Delaware. So they considered the situation so bad that they, they had to bring people in. But just like in 1862, the people who brought in federal soldiers, that's not the way the election went. That The Democratic Party won everything in 1864 but the governor's seat within the state. The Democratic Party even carried the presidency or the, who, who were the, uh, the candidate for president in 1864. So Abraham Lincoln didn't win in Delaware in 1864. So bigger picture in all this is there's a lot of craziness that goes on in American elections. And Delaware is a great place to look at that, think about it, and study it, not just in the 1860, 62, and 64 elections, but throughout time. But the state of Delaware makes a wonderful, again, microcosm to think about elections in the United States.